A lot of mixers make a few simple mistakes when mixing deathcore vocals that ruin the production. Follow this guide so you don't end up being one of them. Hey guys, Joey here, and in today's video, I'm going to give you the ultimate toolkit for mixing deathcore vocals. These mixes are dense, so getting punch and power from the vocalist is a challenge. I'm going to walk you through the basics and throw in a few extra tips to make sure that your vocals absolutely crush. Let's start with compression. The key to getting vocals to feel huge in this genre is aggressive compression. Start on each of the individual tracks. It's normal to have a lot of gain reduction on raw vocals. Once the individual tracks are controlled, feed them to a bus and start compressing them together. This is going to trick the listener into perceiving the lead and double vocals as one strong voice. For even more excitement, multiband compression could run in parallel. This is great for controlling S's while evening out the attack. Awesome. That's half the battle right there. Now let's add size with saturation. What kind of saturation we use will depend on the source. Some vocals sound awesome with just a little bit of full frequency saturation. Other vocalists are going to require heavier saturation or even all out distortion. If the vocalist has a lot of range, an awesome solution is to use multiband distortion. This lets you target the fundamental pitch of their high, mid, and low ranges separately. Just like the compression, this can be used in parallel. The last step that every vocal needs is a little EQ. When EQing vocals like this, the key is to keep it subtle. Take out a little mud, a little resonance, and enhance the top end just a little bit. Just a few simple moves brought this vocal from frowny face to finished. For most vocals, you can stop here, but it's still not quite there. Here's the two tricks you can try. If a vocal is well balanced, but doesn't feel wide enough, pay attention to the double. Doubles are usually quieter, so you can get away with more drastic processing. Try using a stereo widener or doubler to get more space and size from the vocal double. even more size, add ambience on this track. This puts the vocal in a cool space while also adding size. If the vocal still feels weak, try this next trick. Duplicate the vocal track and run a distortion at 100%. Blend this with the original vocal. This trick is similar to parallel saturation, but you can dial in a way nastier sound on the distorted channel. Now 
So let's recap. Aggressively compress the vocal channels, limit dynamics on the vocal bus, use a combination of saturation and distortion to add weight and size. If more size is needed, widen the vocal double. If more weight is needed, add a fully distorted vocal. Use these tips next time you mix a screamer to get a crushing, brutal sound. If you need an all-in-one solution to achieve this, check out Howard Benson Vocals. This plugin can take any vocal and add compression, saturation, EQ, widening, and more. This makes dialing in any vocal sound super simple. Download your free 14-day trial of Howard Benson Vocals at the one and only joeystergestones.com.